Welcome back to the tune-up of the Cobra UK 29 LTD ST. That's this one. It's going to be fun seeing what this sound tracker thing does. Yeah. Will it be a gimmick or what? I don't know. So what you're hearing at the moment, and better just check, better connect this of the sign up meter. But we're not going to get anything on the instruments. Okay, so we've got the sign up meter hooked up, and we're going to go for L100, L101, L102 in the first part of the receiver, the front end. So I've got a one microvolt signal, I've attenuated that to to what? Actually about 0.3. That's really good. So let's see if we can make an improvement. No. No. Yes. Remember we're op optimizing this for channel 20 on UK. So just check those again. Excellent. Now we need to know which is the detector. So, I've got this into an oscilloscope. I've put an S9 equivalent signal, which is 100 millivolts. Correction, 100 microvolts. What am I talking about? And one of these two IFs are going to be the detector and not the IF. It's not that one. It's that one. That is spot on. So I'll make a note on here that that is detector. So now we'll go back to L105, which is that one, which will be IF. tried everything to work out what uh, L105 is uh, is supposed to be doing it looks like it's part of the 10.695 IF and I've looked at the adjustment by injecting 10.695 I've even checked 455 kilohertz and we're now back to uh, the set frequency of 2779125 for UK channel 20 which actually just drifted just reset that There we go. So we're now listening to that with the delta tune in the central position, and it should go off frequency in which it does. And back the other way. Yeah. So that's definitely how it should be. I've even pressed this sound tracker thing. I don't know what that does. Right, um, so we will now we've got some decent receive. Which there was a slight improvement with coil 102, and let's see what we've got for for 12 decibel synad. It's doing one microvolt. But forgetting the synad reading. We've got re usable receive less than 0 0.1 of a microwave. So 
so can't always go on what the sign on meter says. Right, so we'll go to a 100 microvolt signal, so we're simulating S9, and what have we got on the meter? Well, we have got S9, but we do want to prove which preset it is. So I'm going to upset it, just to clarify. Now, it could well be that one, so I'm just going to adjust that. It is. So there we are, S9. So although it didn't need adjusting, we've proved which preset it is. So it's S meter. So that leaves us with what? It leaves us with RV201, which we don't know what it does. And it leaves us with RV102. Now I suspect that RV102 is squelch. So we're going to have no signal. Set the squelch to threshold. Switch the signal generator back on. Off, on, yep, yeah, that's, that's nice. And now we're going to set the squelch to full. And we'll see when the squelch comes in. Comes in at 300 microvolts, which is somewhere around plus 20. That's fine. But just to prove what that preset does, let's just adjust that. Yeah, I'm right, it is squelch. So now I'll just make sure I've reset it correctly. So we'll set the squelch to threshold. Signal drains are back on, it comes straight in at 0 0.3 of a microvolt and set the squelch to full and see where it comes in now. Uh, I've just set it a bit weaker than it wanted to be. That's S9, so let's have it back to plus 30. That's it. So it's a plus 30 signal, approximately. <laughs> which brings the squelch in. So we can add that to the sheet of things. Squelch. Well, I was just about to start on, this is the customer's set as opposed to mine. We finished mine. I thought we'll just look at this together, which is supposed to not have any transmit. So I'll just make sure the controls are somewhere where we'd expect them to be. So we've got, uh, we're in UK position. We're in normal there, we're in normal there, delta tune there, that's there, that's off. Um, what have we got there? Dimmer to full, um, tone to full, RF gain and mic gain to full. Switch it on. So got no meter lamp and I noticed when I put my mic into it that the uh, socket was a bit loose. So we'll just pop the squelch up so that it's not annoying us. Actually on second thoughts we'll just see if it's receiving. Yep, we're on frequency, but it's not uh, it's not receiving. And it's not transmitting either. So I think we'll start by looking at the VCO. But of course on this set it's all this um stuff on the front panel isn't it right well I'll just switch the recorder off and we'll just have a quick look so if we zoom the camera into the customers repair all around this area has got burnt print 
I've removed a burnt out resistor and it's burnt the print underneath and this is all um, really fine stuff so to be honest I think we'll send this one back because it's not worth it at the end of the day it's an 18 year old set and you know I think uh, this is one that's uh, not worth bothering with so that's done ours and that's not done the customers which was the whole reason we did ours in the first place and it's been in so I know it's been in somewhere else and they've um, sent it back as unrepairable so I'll send it back as unrepairable as well and um, yeah that's really all I can say no I'm not going to spend hours and hours and hours piecing together bits of printed circuit board with uh, little bits of fine wire uh, it would mean taking that board out and the ribbon cables and all that and uh, I think it's a waste of time for, for what it's worth so there we are that was the receive side of the Cobra UK29 LTD ST and we will do a on the air video next week when we've got Mr C around we haven't got him this week so thanks for watching and that concludes